something for food because all a family should worry about is helping their child live. Give thanks for the help you give. Rush. I'm getting married tomorrow. Alright guys, so I just saw a gross trip and yeah, so I'm gonna review this when I get home. Alright guys, so I saw Gross Trip. This movie came out a while ago. It came out back in July. But um what are we in September? I barely just saw it. Uh it took me so long to see this movie because it's rated R and I can't um you know the theater policies. They check your ID, make sure you're 17. But I found a theater that doesn't really check IDs that much. So I just went to that theater and I watched Girl Strip. So, um, yeah, I, f I actually finally watched Girl Strip, which I was kind of looking forward to watching. You know, the story, it's very simple. It, it's just a group of uh, four girls who were best friends back in high school. Then they went their own separate ways as they became adults. And now they come back together to go on a very, well, raunchy girls trip. I'll be honest, the trailers did this movie no favors. It made it look like another generic comedy. And it's the reason why I was kind of skeptical about this movie uh, before people were hyping it up to being the best comedy of the year. The trailer didn't really sell me all that much, but the reason why I really wanted to watch this movie because everyone kept on saying it's so funny, it's the best comedy of the year, or one of the best comedies of the year. So um, that's what really kind of you know, made me want to see this movie. Girl Strip is a breath of fresh air for the comedy genre this year. This is what a real late night raunchy comedy should be, similar to the first Hangover. Right off the bat, the casting was really good. I was instantly convinced that these uh, women were friends, like lifelong friends. I was instantly convinced because how well their relationship went and how well they got along. So, um, the actors looked like they were having fun, and just overall, they were actually good in their roles. But, it's Tiffany Haddish who completely steals the show here with her comedic charm. I recently saw her in the TV show, uh, The Carmichael Show. She was really funny in that, and she's really funny in this. It's not your comedy with idiotic jokes or slapstick humor. It pushes boundaries to make these jokes as funny or sometimes as edgy as they can. I was fairly surprised, not only because it was funny, but there is some heavy drama that goes on uh, with these characters towards the last few minutes of the movie. No spoilers, but um, it, I was really surprised because it really goes from a very, you know, a very raunchy comedy just straight to a very heavy drama where, you know, the laughs stop, the comedy stops, everything kind of stops for a second. But they really kind of do that for basically the sake of the characters and the character development. So it, it was a good move to actually put that drama towards the end of the movie. This movie is pretty lengthy. It's two hours long. Um, I'd say that this movie could have easily been a easy 15 to 20 minutes shorter. But overall, I'm actually kind of happy with what we got. It was a really fun time at the movies. It didn't feel like two hours. It, it, it just really did go by fast. This is some of the most and the hardest that I laughed in the movie in all this year. I had a really fun time watching Girl Strip. This is a real, you know, late night comedy. It's a really fun movie. I'm glad I saw it. I know I'm one of the last few people to watch this movie. But, um, it's better late than never. And I'm glad I saw this movie because I do recommend it. I think this is definitely a movie that you could watch in matinee or in discount day. And I'm going to give Girl Strip a B. So yes, I recommend Girl Strip. I know it's about to come out in Blu-ray in about a month, but um, even if you don't get to see it in theaters, definitely rent it and check it out yourself. It's a really fun time. And yeah, uh, have you guys seen Girl Strip? If you've seen it, what did you guys think about it? As always, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.